Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Power App search function. In Power Apps, we can use the search function to find the records from a table that contains a string value in any of the columns. The search string can be presented anywhere in the columns. And the search function matches using a single string instead of a formula. The table should contain columns with a string or text value. Also, it will not take any column value other than a text value such as a number, choice, picture, hyperlink, etc. And you should remember a lookup column does not work with the power app search function. Next, I will show you what is the power app search function syntax. Here you can see the search function syntax like search, table, search string, column 1 and column 2. Here you can observe the table is specify the table name that is used to search and search string we can specify the string to search for. If there is a blank or empty string it will be written to all the records. And lastly the column is specify the column names you want to search from the table. Now I will show you exactly how to work with search function in power apps. Here you can see. I have a power apps collection named collection employee and inside this I have added some records based on the specific columns like employee ID, employee name and department. Now I want to search the collection column string value like IT and display the search results on the data table control. For that go to the default screen. Here insert the data table control. Now set its items property like here you can see I am using search function this is my collection name like collection employee and I am taking the value like it from the department column. To display the collection fields on the data table click on the edits fields option here select the add field and choose your respective fields then click on the add button. Once it is done go to the preview section. Here you can see the data table displays search results based on the specific string value of the department column like IT. Next example I will explain how to work with the power app search gallery using the power apps collection based on the search box value like text input value. For that insert a another blank screen. Then insert a text input control to search the text value. Next insert a gallery control. Next set its items property like. Here you can see this is my collection name like collection employee. And this is my text input control name like text department. And this is my collection field like department. Now go to the preview section. Once the user search any department like IT, the gallery will display the search results like this. Next example, I will show you how to use power app search function using a SharePoint online list. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like vacation budget. Inside this I have added some record based on the different columns. Now I would like to display these list records on the power apps gallery control based on the destination value like Spain. For that go to the power apps. Here insert a another blank screen. Then insert a gallery control. And you should remember one more thing. Whenever you want to connect the respective SharePoint online list to the power apps just go to the data section here select the add data and select data source like SharePoint choose your SharePoint online site then choose your respective list like vacation budget then select the connect button now set its items property of a gallery control like here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like vacation budget and this is my title column value like Spain. Once preview the app, 
the gallery will display search results based on the specific value like Spain. Next I will explain power app search function delegation warning. Here you can see a delegation warning will be visible at the top of the gallery like delegation warning the search part of this formula might not work currently on in large data sets. To overcome this issue you can create a collection for that go to the app object here select the on start property then create a collection like Here you can see this is my collection name like collection vacations and this is my SharePoint online list. Now click on the run on start property to get the created collection. Then select the gallery control. Here change the items property like instead of SharePoint online list you can use collection. This is how we can work with the power app search function delegation warning. Yes friends this is how we can work with power app search function using a different examples. I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online power apps power automate and power bi. Thank you.